This video was sponsored by Exter. Yo what's up, my name is Benny and welcome to this brand new episode of Editing Your Photos. The series in which I edit your photos. Today I have some very cool and different photos compared to the stuff I usually do. So firstly, if you want to send in your photo for the next episode, make sure to send it to bennysubmissions at gmail.com. Make sure to send good quality photos only, preferably taken with a camera if you can. But right now, obviously you've already seen it, it's all about Christmas on my channel this December so also today we have some Christmas stuff. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like my content make sure to do so and click the bell to stay notified. A lot of you guys keep missing my videos so smash it. So well then, roll the intro. <laughs> This photo was sent by Andrew. Hey Benny, I'm really enjoying your YouTube channel. Your work is amazing. This is a photo of my new Rottweiler puppy. Her name is Jeffa. Looking forward to see what you can do with this. Thank you, Andrew, for your photo. This little thing is the cutest. So, well, I, I couldn't resist. Puppies and Christmas, that's gotta be good. Unlike previous times, I'm actually gonna start with the environment for this one, which I'm gonna make uh, pretty much all on my own. This uh, this better work. Basically, my idea, this dog is gonna be sitting on a wooden windowsill, light casting on him from the outside with uh, some nice Christmas stuff sitting around him. So uh, let's give it a shot. I've got this window right here and I'm gonna put that right there. Then I'm using the pencil again, what a surprise, to mask this little guy out. Just like so. Except now the outside world is still visible so let me just uh, select these rectangles there you go that's better let's make the background color grayish for now and so I wanted a nice windowsill for the dog to sit on but I couldn't really find something that looks nice so resourceful me thought why not just make it yourself so that's what I'm going to do with this wooden texture see now this is the top area nice and distorted and then let me get rid of these edges here first then it needs to be cut off something like this I'm guessing yeah, that's pretty decent. Then to give the thing some depth, I'm gonna add a second layer right below it. However, it's really just an edge there, so I'm just gonna select the top area. There you go. Now, that thing should definitely be darker already, so... Yeet, yeah, cool. Okay, so now let's put something on the wall. Just a simple texture, makes it less boring and flat. Then extract the windows and voila. For a base, I think this is, uh, this is pretty good. Then let's grab our little Duggo and put him right here. Here? Yeah, there. Look at it, it's so freaking cute! Ah! Focus! Alright, let's grab the pen tool again and release him from his background. Then to make the edges look furry, I'm just gonna go and use the refine edge brush to fix that by just sort of going all around the fluffy parts and then hit okay. And yeah, so you can obviously see the grass still sitting on his fur down there. So let me just uh, kind of use the stamp tool to fix those. There, yeet, plop, ah. Great, so now let's do the first shadow right below the windowsill to make that look legit. Just with my brush doing my thing. I guess that's pretty cool. Then a little dark edge under the shelf to give it sort of a uh, bevel or something. Something. And then a brighter one on top, like that. See, that's pretty nice. So now another shadow on top of the shelf, because there's no way it's this bright all over. Now this looks a bit weird, but that's because of the window being way too bright, so let's darken that a whole lot. And of course, add a shadow to that as well. It's beautiful how nice and repetitive this video already is. It's, uh, it's just perfect. This is mostly just adding and removing shadows, I guess. A little more here. That's too much, maybe. Anyway, the dock. Let's first add a little ambient shadow and his thingy right there and then make the whole thing yeah so look outside is gonna be a snowy landscape so it's really freaking bright which means this side of the puppy is probably reasonably dark I think that's uh, that's fine for now so then the shadow below him just like the shadows on the wall and basically everything else so far I'll take me brush and uh, sort of paint a little uh, shadow below him he's blocking pretty much all the light on this area though so I should probably just make it like uh, a whole lot darker in general yeah that's pretty decent actually so now let's work a little on the outside world for a second I've got this uh, snowy landscape which I will put right here maybe a little bright oh bloody hell that's bright then also a nice blur to get some depth in this scene oh I can really see how this might end up real nice then some haze up here with a solid color and a little bit around and a little bit around your window since it's real 
freaking cold outside, but the doggo is nice and warm, chilling inside, being like, <laughs> I'm warm. So that outside world is gonna be my color reference, which means he's gonna be a bit more bluish, like that, yeah. And then copy that thing to the other stuff in the room. There you go, now it's all a bit more harmonic. Harmonic, is that a word? I don't know. Ugh. So now to add some life, let's do highlights. Just softly on his back, on his little feet. Look how bloody freaking cute that thing is, shoot me. Then some light bloom, so I'm gonna add a new solid color, set it to linear dodge add, and sort of paint really softly. There, that's nice. Also a bit around their windows, because as I said, this is real freaking bright. These edges here though, could probably use some brightening there. Oh wow, that is better, holy sh**. Bit on the handles as well. I feel like handles isn't the correct word for it. Bloody hell, Benjamin, learn English. The final little edge. There you go. Then some more shadows here and there. I want Christmas trees. So here, look, ain't that beautiful. And guess what? Another one. Oh, hell yeah. So let's add the same colors to those. A little darker, a little bluish, some shadows. And obviously also some highlights. Not to forget a shadow below it, of course. That's what really puts it on the ground. Look at that. That's actually nice. So same thing for the other one. Three, two, one. Should I extract the lights? I should definitely extract the lights. Then add some orange glow to the lights as if they're actually functional. Dude, it's magic. Probably cast some light on the wall there too. Very softly. Ooh, look at that. Maybe even a bit on him too. Now that, my friend, is amazing. That bow should definitely be red. Red is good. Dude, Christmas has to be the best time of the year. There's not many things I love as much as Christmas. Except maybe Star Wars. And my girlfriend, of course. Can't forget about her. <laughs> How about we make this a wallpaper format? There, that's a lot better. 69 bitch. But now there is nothing on the left side. Oh hell yes. 3, 2, 1, Santa Claus. Maybe a little juicy little flare on the top there. Ooh, that's very nice. You know what this thing needs? Indeed, snow. Let's use this and set it to screen mode. Instantly beautiful, look at that. How about another Christmas tree in the foreground there? Would be cool. Add a little blur. There you go. You know what? It's fine, it's done. Let's uh, let's go add a filter really quick. As usual, just pulling all the sliders to make it pop as a fairy tale. This color grading update, by the way, is seriously great, dude. Like, I know it's been out there for a while now, but I never really talked about it. But uh, yeah, I, I really love it. So much better than split toning. And there you go. That's little Christmas puppy. This is actually a bit different from the stuff I usually make. It's uh, quite interesting. Like, this looks actually sort of realistic, where usually I am more of an artistic person, more focused on just what looks cool. So so uh, yeah, this is definitely refreshing. Thanks again to Andrew for sending in your photo. I'll make sure to send this back to you as soon as I get the chance. Now, before moving on to the next photo, a quick word from our sponsor, Exter. Some of you may already know them from my previous video, but Exter is a brand devoted to cool, stylish and compact smart wallets. I myself own four of them, one of which even has the Benny Productions logo on it, I mean, how cool is that? That's why you know for sure a sponsor loves you. Anyway, these little things are super handy. They come with optional tracker cards, which you can use to track your wallet with your smartphone, so if you lose them, worry not my friend, this thing has you covered. It comes in a few different models and materials, I for one have two metal ones and two leather ones. I myself prefer for metal because they just look a bit cooler to me. Since I have these, I don't use any other wallets at all. It's just very small and easy to use. But they also have other stuff like phone cases and chargers. Now, over at Exter, it's also December, which means they have a Christmas sale. They have a site-wide discount of 35%, including a free gift bag. But if you use my code Benny, you can get 5% additional discount, which makes it 40%. What else do you want? Click the link in the description to visit their store. Now, onto the next photo for today. This one was sent in by an anonymous user. Hi, I'm from Kiev and I love your work very much. I think this photo will be interesting to process. I totally agree. This is a very cool photo, so let's drop this into Photoshop and get started. For this one, I'm thinking we remove the background, put this person on a bridge or something, add a background of maybe like London or Paris, with a slight touch of steampunk in there. Seems like a plan. Let's start with getting rid of the original background by using the pen tool, because you all know how nitpicky I am. So I'm just going all around the edge again, like that, then use that for a mask and boom. This hair can use some refreshments though. That's where this little guy comes in. Look at that, fantastic. Now there's some weird stuff on this coat, so let's uh... Yeet. 
gone and some of these white dots here and there there you go nice and clean let's move the subject a bit to the right and at the background i found this one right here that's paris and then for that bridge i was talking about i'm just using a concrete texture there you go and then this one for the top area so let's make that a bit more flat and thin erasing the little edge like that then the side of the wall should be a whole lot darker since it's uh, blocking the light there you go that's better this thing has to be darker though there make this little edge a little less perfect and sharp and then i'm gonna copy that whole thing to the right don't need that makes it too repetitive right that's looking uh, pretty interesting now there is the background again i'm taking out some of the dark areas to create some kind of distance just for the idea and then to fill up the sky i'm using this thing then erase the edge with a brush there you go then i gotta make them match color wise maybe some color balance i guess for now that's fine that should probably have some more blue in it then for even more depth i'm adding some more levels back there that actually looks a bit more like mist but uh, sure whatever and for even more maybe a blue solid color set it as a screen blend mode yeah that's a bit better for sure before actually blending it all together this wall needs some depth and distraction so uh look at that it's a crack isn't it beautiful let's put you down there and softly paint stuff back it's a bit too bluish though and also a bit bright so uh, let's uh see that's a lot better you know what this wall needs a big ass shadow right there yay yes now let's do something about the subject because uh this looks uh like death first i'll add some levels get rid of the super black areas then since this is uh, obviously outside let's go and add some highlights just with a brush nothing special and also no tablet as usual just a mouse on the right areas here and there just a tiny bit brighter this really helps making it look like it's outside there that's uh wow look at that difference holy shit just by adding some subtle light it's uh it's crazy now let's do the same thing with shadows i'm grabbing my brush again just a bit here give it some depth now it's definitely starting to look like something decent let's go and add some brightness in the sky though Do -do. Maybe some of the clouds here as well. Oh, that's actually nice. You know what? This background definitely needs a blur. That's too much though. Maybe like eight. Hell yeah, look at that. Some more mist. I don't know about this background yet, guys. It's uh, strange or something. I'm thinking these highlights should be a tiny bit brighter, especially on the mask there. Using my brush again. You know, inside the mask, it should probably be quite dark. So let's darken that a whole lot. Makes it more mysterious as well. And while we're at it, da -da, very nice. Then let's Ladies and gentlemen, some light blue, a solid color, set it to linear Dutch Ed again, very softly paint. This is where really put stuff out there, you know? It shouldn't be too much though. I guess uh, that's fine for now. I'm trying to make sort of a glass texture on those eye holes there. Not really doing a great job at it, I guess. Actually, you know what? It's fine. Cool. Better than nothing, that's for sure. This needs two of these big mama chimneys there to add an industrial vibe to it. See, that's pretty neat. Another one. Smoke. Oh, bloody hell. This looks horrible. Why do I feel like I'm wasting my time here? Uh, I don't know about this, mate. Anyway, um, I want some steampunk airships in the sky. So uh, look at that. That's cool. Let's put you there. Then another one. A little smaller. And let's just add the same stuff as we did to the rest. Bam. Now it's kind of just fixing up little issues. So uh, let me speed that up for you. So I think that's pretty much it. So let's go and add a final camera raw filter again. Definitely clarity and texture. Some curves for a nice soft look. It's really crazy how much color grading does look at that so there you have it that is the second photo of today thanks again for submitting your photo i'll make sure to send this back to you as soon as i get the chance now for the third one i'm gonna do it the same way as realistified it's gonna be a speed art segment this one was made by Brian. I have seen many of your videos and you are seriously legendary. Speaking of your work, I was wondering if you could edit one of my photos for me. It would mean the world to me and I know I can learn a lot from you. If you could change the background or change it up as you like, do what you do best. Have a wonderful day, Brian. Thanks man and thanks for submitting your photo. I think I have a pretty fun idea for this one. Sit back.
there you go. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really sure about this one. I mean, it's nice, I guess, but nothing really particularly special. Anyway, thanks again to Brian, I'll make sure to send this back to you as soon as I can. So that is it, these are the ones I edited today, and if you want to have a possibility of seeing your photo in the next episode, make sure to send it to bennysubmissions at gmail.com. That's not my business email by the way, so make sure it's this one, otherwise the email will be ignored. Don't forget to take a look at exter.com for these cool wallets, and then I guess that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and if you enjoy my overall content, feel very free to subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified about future videos. I'd highly appreciate that, then I hope I'll see you in my next video.